We've already seen on Destination WA there are some spectacular things to see around the Pilbara, but it's also become a great place to live. I'm going to go and have a look around, and like any good reconnaissance trip, you need a good base. This is pretty good. This is the Rangers, a set of self-contained apartments set amongst lush gardens. In keeping with the lifestyle up here, there's plenty of outdoor entertaining areas. And I reckon the pavilion next to the pool has my name on it. The Rangers is just a few minutes from the centre of Karatha, a place undergoing a bit of a transformation at the moment. The skyline of this former company mining town now has its first apartment buildings and with them, a revitalised streetscape running through the heart of Karatha. With businesses seeing the potential and moving in, locals have been quick to show their support. Well, Bart, I bet a lot of people say this is not the Karatha that they remember. Certainly not. Um, the centre of town is transformed for sure um, and we are the focal point of what's gone on. Um, a lot of people who come back from being away from Karatha for a lot of years are very shocked, but it's definitely a good move forward. Tell us a bit about the changes that you've seen in the town. The town's rapidly changing. There's a lot of investment from government, which has been great. Um, Leisureplex, we've got this wonderful development. It's actually quite vibrant. It's a community now. It's not so much a mining town. And I think Karatha is at that stage where it's past construction. There's people here. There's people, lots of families, and there's lots of people who want to go out and have a nice time. So, you know, these sorts of things belong in places like this for sure. What do you think of Karatha's new look? Because I think it's fantastic. And do you know what? The revitalisation in this area is not just restricted to Karatha. It is Pilbara wide. And so this morning, I've jumped in the car. I'm headed a couple of hours north to check out what's happening in Port Hedland. Since iron ore mining kicked off in the early 1960s, Port Hedland has been busy establishing the high-tech infrastructure to handle bulk ore exporting. But with that ticking over quite comfortably, this town is also undergoing a renewal of sorts and the vision is big. Even the grand old girl of Headland, the Esplanade Hotel, has been renovated, complete with the sleek new Empire Bar, a very contemporary take on the classic corner pub. Mel, what a centrepiece this is for the town, yeah. the new Esplanade. Yeah, look, the Esplanade's amazing, isn't it? And I, you know, I look at the Esplanade and look at the investment that the owners have made in this and think this facility would fit perfectly in any city in Australia. And we're really, you know, lucky to have infrastructure of this type in the Pilbara now. And I think what we'll see following on from the Esplanade is other developments of a similar nature. Um, but certainly, you know, how nice is this? Um, great coffee, great food, uh, pretty cold beer. So <laughs> it's, it's really Pilbara perfect. What else is in the pipeline for Port Hedland? Interestingly, there's still a lot of new commercial projects on the, on the go. We're still committed to get our marina and waterfront development occurring. Uh, we've just got to settle on the final resting place for that development. But there's $152 million between the state and the town of Port Hedland investment into that. We're very keen to see our airport continue to grow. And there's a $105 million investment in the airport over the next five years. As you can see, there is so much going on in the northwest at the moment, and the best thing is, all of this change and development is being done with a nod to the past. It really is a great time to be up in the Pilbara. Thanks to the Pilbara Development Commission, we're giving you the chance to win a trip for two people on an all-expenses paid adventure of a lifetime, showcasing the very best the Pilbara has to offer. The prize includes return airfares from Perth, twin share accommodation, tours and activities, and it's valued at $12,500. Simply remember this code word and head to our website to follow the prompts to enter. Entries close on January 23, 2015. The winner will be announced on Australia Day, January 26.